In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Good morning. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing. Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We want you to know, brothers and sisters, of the grace of God that has been given to the churches of Macedonia for in a severe test of affliction the abundance of their joy and their profound poverty overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For according to their means, I can testify, and beyond their means, spontaneously, they begged us insistently for the favor of taking part in the service to the Holy Ones, and this not as we expected, but they have themselves first to the Lord and to us through the will of God, so that we urge the Titus that as he had already begun, he should also complete for you this gracious act also. Now as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you, may you excel in this gracious act also. I say this not by way of command, but to test the genuineness of your love by your concern for others. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that for your sake he became poor although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. Who keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, Gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who bear bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Or maybe you go out and it's very hot and you may live steady and you feel better and you go into the hospital. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same, and if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same, so be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel be to the excellence. What makes the disciples of Jesus distinct or different from other people? And what makes Christianity distinct from other religions? It is grace. Treating others not as they deserve, but as God wishes them to be treated with respect, love, generosity, kindness, and compassion. God is good, not only to the just, also to the unjust. His love embraces both saints and sinners alike. God always seeks the highest good of all of us. Therefore, we must do the same to others, to our fellow beings. We, we must seek the highest good of all our brothers and sisters. So that is what today's gospel reminds us. We must love even our own enemies as Jesus loved us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us praise our needs, our prayers before Him, and ask for His blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious, and laity so that they may always follow Jesus, listen to his teachings faithfully, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland, and also in all those places torn by war and violence, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families, members of our parish community, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus in their pains and sufferings and get well from their illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intention of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for Cathy de Amore. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share. In the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> the 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the divine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With a humble spirit and a contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with the food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give a thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always sent everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with the one who is we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, Blaise Soupich, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, 
Cathy D. Amorin, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours in event forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said you are apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May the symmetry of the body and blood of your Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us, receive it. May the receiving of your body and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ not bring me the judgment and the condemnation, but through your loving mercy, before me protection, might, and body and heal. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only so the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
spiritual, spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The communion song. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. <clears throat> As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you and have a safe day. For our discussion, we will sing the second words of Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy, Holy.